So today we're going to talk about solar in Trinidad, solar panels and the policy documents and all that stuff. We will watch a little video, you'll hear the audio too for those of you all. In terms of the issue of solar panels on people's homes and what we see in other jurisdictions where there could even be a buyback system in terms of electricity, where is the government or TN Tech or the ministry in terms of that kind of initiative? That is also going to be a main feature as we move into 2023. We have been working on a policy document and a draft um, amendment to the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity um, Act. I was glad that the the um, reporter, I think that was Jules Bronco, he's asked good questions ever so often, like, you know, that's a good fella. Because when they did the original um, presentation, all they were talking about was TN Tech doing this, they putting in a big solar plant for um, something in line with sustainability development and all that kind of stuff. So they're basically talking about all these things that I think um, Carbon Zero now. Anybody a part of the, what's the name of the um, Commonwealth? It's not Commonwealth, the UN, whatever, right? Yeah. They they have this they have this um thing about all countries are supposed to try to implement solar and whatnot. So they're talking about this mega watt generation plan that they were going to. But after he stick him and he ask him, so what about consumers? which I was real happy for. Mm -hmm. And like he had a prepared answer. So basically, this policy document supposed to come out and it's supposed to speak about what is going to take place when it comes to what, what they offer to the consumer. And I'm not too sure what the time frame will be because he said within the next three months, and this video was in December, I think um, December the 22nd as far as I see. So that means December, January, February, March. By, yeah. by that so, time. 